Alright, unit one, key vocabulary words. I am sure everyone is ecstatic to learn some vocab. You, Larry. Alright, so this is the key vocabulary that we're going to be using in this unit and pretty much for the rest of the year because unit one is where we start and we get all of our knowledge off of. So, first word I want to talk about is time. Alright, time is pretty much like clock time so you know what time of day is it stuff like that it has units here's where I try and color code everything so stay with me if I can do this I'm attempting this for the first time it says units that is horrible who would who would choose that thickness that is just atrocious so bear with me I can do this stay on target stay on target all right, here we go. There we go. Has units. I'm going to color code this. So if I ever do red, that's going to be the units. So I don't want to have to write units a thousand times. So that's seconds. Which we just use the symbol of S. Sometimes you just might see SEC, but S is good enough. And then it has the shorthand unit, or the symbol, I should say. And I guess I'm doing that in green symbol of the letter T for time. Now, to be totally honest, side note here, don't really use time as much as we use this guy right here. And this means change. Alright, so that delta, that means change. So this is really what we call a time interval. And we use this much more in physics. All right, we we want to know how things happen over time or as time passes. So uh, just keep that in mind. Deltas are going to be showing up a lot. We use delta t way more than just t by itself. All right, but that's time. I think we all get time. You know, we're used to time. Time makes sense. All right, now the next thing is position. All right. Position is where an object is. Okay, and usually it's related to time, okay? But um, fundamentally, position is just where an object is. Now, this has units. I've got to color code this. This has units of meters. All right, meters letter M. Either either is fine. You'll usually see right M for meters, not centimeters, okay? Meters. That's what we use. And then we use the symbol is the X. And this means uh, a horizontal position. Later on, you'll see we use a Y if we start dropping stuff, because that's vertical position, which makes sense. You know, you got your X, X and Y grid for math class. So just want to let you know. X means your horizontal position. Uh, if we see a Y, that's vertical position. But we, we won't be using Ys for a while, but technically, I'll be using X's or Y's as the days go on. But uh, knowing where you are just, just is not super exciting. So we move on to what happens when you start actually moving. So I guess we got speed and space. So instead, let's do that. And let's talk about what everyone knows coming into physics class, and that's distance. Now distance is how far something has traveled. All right. Some key things you want to know about distance. All right, so some key facts. I guess I'm going to do key facts in blue. Seems exciting. All right, so key things you want to know. That is not a strong blue. I need a strong blue. Where is a strong blue? The ear strong blue. Try it again. There we go. All right, so key facts. Can never be negative. 
you get credit. Every step you take. Every move you make. There's a song somewhere out there. It's coming into my head. All right. So you get credit for every step you take. You can never get negatives. Okay. So if you are doing laps in the pool, you get, you know, you, you go whatever meters. You don't go positive and negative by changing around. Okay. Distance is just how far. Now, in terms of units, distance uses the same units as position. So it's still in meters. And the symbol for distance, we don't really use it, but it'd be kind of a capital D for distance. All right, but key things, you get credit for however, every step you take, it can be negative or negative. It really tells you how far. Kind of boring, got to be honest, really kind of boring. We don't use it that often in physics. Instead, we use its big brother. And so distance's big brother is, dun dun dun, if I can get the color out, displacement. All right, displacement. So this tells us how far and direction. So, key things about this is it's basically described. So it, its symbol describes its what it is. It's like its definition. Because it's, really it's an equation. So this is described as delta x or delta y if it's vertical, which is equal to your final minus your initial. So this is your final position minus your initial position. When I say final position, I really mean your current position, or so it could be whatever time you're looking at, your time now, so don't get too hung up on the word final. All right, so that's, that's what that means. So the thing about this is this can be positive, this can be negative. All right. This can be positive, this can be negative, this can be zero. And for example, when I'm gonna go out for a run and I go, hey, I'm gonna start at my house and I'm gonna run all the way around, and I'm gonna come back to my house. Well, if I use the equation, my final position is whatever number I assign to my house using GPS. You know, I'd probably call it zero. We usually call where we start zero. But it, it, you know, technically it's GPS is definitely not zero. Unless you're in that one spot where they decide to call zero. So anyways, so that's that's my final position. We'll call it five, just for funsies. I, I run, and my initial position where I started, well, that's, that's also five. So my displacement would be zero because I started and ended the exact same spot. So my final position is the exact same as my initial position, so my total displacement is zero, even though I ran like seven miles and I'm about to die. So up here, if I did the same story, distance, I'd get credit for every step I take, so I would be like, yeah, you ran seven miles on my Fitbit or something like that. Good for you. Cheers. Well, over here it goes, I don't know, I, I, why'd you do that? That was a waste of time, which many could argue it was. But that's, that's the big difference. So now in terms of symbols and stuff like that, so this has units of meters still, and the symbol, like I said, the symbol is really the same as its equation. So delta x or delta y if it's vertical. But like I said, in the first few units, we're only going to do horizontal stuff. We're not going to do vertical for a while. Don't want to get you too messed up. All right, so that's displacement. Now, we've got time, position, distance, displacement. How do we use this stuff? Well, we use this to do some calculations. So, for example, we're going to calculate speed. Everyone likes to calculate speed. That's why I drive a red car, because it has better speed. And we all know what speed is. That's how fast. Real simple, all right? No problems. I bet everyone could even tell me how you calculate speed. All right, we're not going to do that right now, but I bet you could. All right, so speed, we know this. Speed has units of meters per second. 
and has a symbol of s. All right, or sometimes we'll just write out the word speed because again, we don't really use this O so much. All right, don't really use this O so much. Instead of using speed, what we do use a lot is its big brother, velocity. All right, now velocity, again, it's, it's, uh, it's so much better than speed because it tells us not only how fast, and that should be a plus symbol. Oh, I'm just going to erase that because that hurts my soul. Yay, it's gone. And direction. So for example, with speed, you're just saying, hey, I'm going you know, 25 miles per hour. This would say, hey, I'm going 25 miles per hour north. And when you're in your car, you know, directions, you, you kind of like to know which way to go, not just how fast. So I would argue direction is way more important than anything else. So therefore, velocity is how fast and in what direction. It is built off of displacement. So let's see, we got our blue pen on. So this right here, how fast, this is based off distance and time intervals. When I, when I say time, I always mean time intervals. That's just the default physics. So it's based off of distance and time intervals, whereas this is based off displacement and time intervals. There I'll write the delta t and make it super clear. All right. So you get you can just because displacement can be positive negative zero, well, since it's based on that, you can have positive velocities, negative velocities, you can have zero velocities. So for example, if I do that whole lap thing, if my displacement was zero, then my average velocity would be zero. Okay? So, some key things you want to keep in mind there. It has the exact same units as speed, though. Okay, meters per second. Different symbol, though. Different symbol. This is a lowercase v. There, I made it pretty. All right, just make it lowercase. A lot of times it's kind of cursive or pretty. Uh, capital V is not velocity. That's something else. All right, so those are the key vocab terms that you need to really know in unit one. So I hope that's been riveting and as exciting as I thought it would be. But hey, there's some things you just got to know. So stay strong and physics on.